All right, so in the previous video, I showed you uh, forking a repository. Now let's um, see cloning and see how that is uh, different than forking. So I'm going to clone. I'm going to copy that URL. Now I'm going to go. That This was on the R. You can see it's the R Workflow Workshop repository. I'm going to be uh, cloning that. And so here I'm going to my repositories. You see it's GitHub EE Homes. And then I'm going to do plus up here, import. And then I do, a I paste the URL here. I'm going to give it a name. So let's call it week two. It tells me no, it exists. Well, that's okay because I'm going to do a clone. Again, import. Okay, so it's done. Great. There we go. So let's go there. So now we see some differences. So you don't see here now what the parent is. Um, you don't see anything to allow you to compare to the parent. So there's no connection there. Um, it's just my repository and, you know, yeah. Um, so when would you use this cloning versus forking? Well, it really just depends on why you're making a copy of that repository and what you plan to do with it. So um, for me personally, I rarely fork unless I'm on a team and we're jointly working on a um, on some code together. So I might use it there, or except that often if I'm in that situation, we're just collaborators on the same repository. I'm not forking it. I'm just a member of that repository, so we can both uh, push changes. Um, so. Uh, almost always for me, I'm cloning because I just want to copy and then I'm going to do something else with it. Like if I wanted to have a repository that I kept up to date with the parent repository, um, I, I would just be, you know, using that parent repository. I wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily need a copy myself in, in my GitHub account. But Depends what you're doing and kind of what your what your workflow is.